Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What's up, everyone? It's me, Alyssa Val, and um, welcome to another. Nightmare Ninja requested <laughs> video. Yes, once again, this is requested by Nightmare Ninja or Team Yamazuki because they share channels. Um, so, yeah, this one is another Thomas Game Docs video. Uh, don't know who Thomas Game Docs is. Thomas Game Docs covers um, information on Nintendo, Mario, and other sources like that. I think that are uh, Nintendo base. Well, yeah, that 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 are um, Nintendo base. So, yeah. So, the video that I'm going to be reacting to today is called That Time McDonald's Tried to Sponsor Mario's Hat. The famous M. The famous M on his hat. Famous M on his round, puffy, big hat. So, yeah. That's the video we're going to be reacting to today. So, um... Yeah, I guess without any uh, further ado, let's get this video started, shall we? Let's get this video started. Let me pull this up on full screen. And, yeah, let's do this. That time, McDonald's tried to sponsor Mario's Hat by Thomas Game Dogs. And we'll start the video in 3, 2, 1, go. The year was 1985, and Nintendo were finally ready to release their newest game. It was called Super Mario Bros, and it was about to change the course of video games, well, forever. But what did the box look like of this magnificent video game? Well, in the US, it looked like this. Simple and classy. In Japan, though, Here's what it looks like. Instead of hiring a professional illustrator, Nintendo just asked the game's designer, Shigeru Miyamoto, to give it his best shot. His depiction of Mario looked fairly similar to his modern appearance, but Bowser and Peach both look pretty rough. Yeah. Peach has the pose of a scarecrow for some reason, <laughs> and Bowser looks like a bizarre BDSM warthog. And I think that seeing this art was what motivated Nintendo, because not long afterwards, they hired a professional illustrator. His name was Yoichi Kotobe, and his task was to redesign Mario. Redesign Mario. So, a quick bit of background. Yoichi Kotobe is actually one of Japan's best illustrators and animators. When he was younger, he worked alongside Yao Miyazaki, the Studio Ghibli wizard, who would later create See, yeah, this, I thought so. this and this. Yeah. Anyway, I thought I recognised that name. someone to jazz up the look of their Mario games. So they decided That's the to hire god the of all money could buy. creators but who Kotobe did Studio Ghibli films. He would draw and the Studio Ghibli films, my word. With hundreds of oh. frames. They looked great. Mwah but they were useless for the games. Adding them in would just take too much storage space in the cartridge. But a few months later, Nintendo gave Yoichi Kotobe his first proper job. They wanted him to redesign the world of Mario. First was Princess Peach. Shigeru Miyamoto asked Kotobe to make her a little more Peach. stubborn looking. <laughs> Those were his exact words. But could he please make her eyes a little more cat-like? Here's what Kotobe came up with, and Miyamoto liked it a lot. Then was Bowser, the villain. For him, Miyamoto pulled up an old film he loved, called Alakazam the Great. There was this big bad ox in the movie, and that's what Miyamoto wanted Kotobe to base Bowser's new design on. 
It took a few iterations, but eventually Miyamoto was really pleased with this character's new look. It was great. Which left only one character to go, Mario himself. Now this was Miyamoto's baby, his child, and so he only had one piece of advice for Kotobe. Do what you want, but Mario doesn't kill. That was all he told Kotobe. And so Kotobe took a good long look at this most important of characters. For the most part, he actually really liked the design as it was. Mm. But there was one area that grabbed his attention. Mario's hat. You see, he had this red M on it. M for Mario, fun. Yeah. But the way the M was drawn, it reminded him of something completely different. Oh no. Donald. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've seen Mario in some numerous McDonald's outfit. To more closely resemble a fast food chain's logo? That's pretty out there. You can't say McDonald's didn't have guts, that's for sure. So all of this leaves just one question. What did Kotobe do? Did he turn down the offer? Did he ignore McDonald's? Or did he take them up on their request? Well, Kotobe actually kept his lips sealed on all of this. For the next two decades, he didn't tell a soul. Two decades? Finally, in 2018, Kotobe felt ready to tell the whole story to a French newspaper called Le Monde. And when he was asked about... 20 years! Mario, he had this to say. I kept the character's thick contour line. On the other hand, I accentuated the features on the M of Mario's cap to clearly distinguish it from the McDonald's logo, who asked us, on the other hand, if they could be more alike. So, no, Kotobe and Nintendo ended up turning down McDonald's request. In fact, perhaps out of spite, Kotobe went out of his way to make this new M even more distinct than the old one. You could pretty clearly see the difference if you compare both versions of Mario side by side. However, this incident did not end up completely burning the McDonald's Mario bridge. Because a few years later, the two companies partnered up to release these Mario figures inside the McDonald's Happy Meals. And this partnership has actually continued on up until this very day. But if you look closely at Mario's hat, that M is still very much red. Thanks to my amazing patrons for making this whole thing possible. If you want to help support the future of Thomas Game Dogs, plus gain access to my exclusive Discord server, you can join at patreon.com slash thomasgamedogs. And I'll see you next time. Bye. So even though Koto... Koto uh, I forgot, uh, forgot his name now. Uh, Koto Bay? Um, even though he kept his lips sealed from McDonald's, even though McDonald's were willing, I think they were willing to take it up to his hands on the proposal. 
Uh, you just kept it sealed for twenty years. Why did he? Why did he kept? Why did he keep it secret for twenty years? And then in two thousand and eighteen, he would then suddenly feel like to tell the French newspaper, "You know what? Let's get him in. Let's just get that man in. Let's just get that beautiful Italian plumber with the M cap on on McDonald's, and hence why." Us lot in the UK have seen what you've seen there on the uh, the snippet on that commercial there with the uh, the Happy Meal box with um, with Mario on some snowy tundra or some place like that in the uh, in the frozen icicle place. So um, so yeah. Anyways, this was intriguing to learn. Thank you very much once again to Nightmare Ninja. For sending me this video and um, I know that he is willing to um, watch more of his uh, requested videos which I will gladly do which I will gladly do because these these videos that you send me are definitely intriguing to watch definitely intriguing to watch so, um, so yeah I'll definitely get right into that I'll definitely get right into that but as of now um, if you wanna sorry the dog's right below me so if you want to check out the original video of this video, uh, then uh, I will leave the original link down in the description below for you guys to check out. Um, and yeah, I think I'll wrap it up right here. So thank you very much everyone for watching my reaction to that time McDonald's tried to sponsor Mario's Hat by Thomas Game Dogs. I love this channel. I love this channel. I might subscribe to it, which I'm doing right now. There we go. I've um, I've subscribed to Tom's Game Dogs. So yes, um, yeah. Thank you very much, guys, for watching my reaction to that video. And if you have enjoyed my reaction, then make sure to hit the like button down below. If you're new to my channel, and want to check out more of my videos, then you can by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more updating content with of my next video. My Twitter page is at Elusivale21. My Bitchu is Elusivale as well for um, for copyrighted videos. So, yeah, if I post it on there, it will be completely fine. But if I were to post it on YouTube, then they will just take it down. So, yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Instagram, Fernstone17. Um, Twitter, Instagram. Picture. Oh yeah, TikTok. <laughs> TikTok at Elusive Al 2. That's all of them covered. So with all that being said guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. And uh, oh yeah. Yahoo!